Hey, Martin here and I got invited to the Huawei event in London to check out their brand new flagship smartphone, the Mate 20 Pro and the whole Mate 20 series. And I decided to compare the camera to the Mi 8 from the other flagship giant, Xiaomi. And today I want you to be the judge around, so let me know in the comment section down below which one of the two do you like more, the Xiaomi Mi 8 or the Mate 20 Pro. So let's get started. Just to make it clear and fair, all the photos and videos taken with those two devices are taken at the same time, at the same location and in their finest quality and in the standard mode as most of you will most likely be using this. Specifications for all of these cameras can be found in the description of this video in case you're curious. Now let's start with some daylight pictures and videos and then continue with the low light and night footage. This shot over here clearly shows that the Mate 20 Pro has a slightly higher dynamic range better HDR and uses a slightly different color temperature. The difference is not that huge, the details are very similar and also when we zoom in there is barely a difference visible. In this picture over here the Mate 20 Pro is sharpening the image a lot and has a higher contrast ratio than the Mi 8. Overall I think that the Mate 20 captures a little bit more detail but that might be a trick because of the over sharpening that is happening. The over sharpening is happening basically in any picture and it looks like that the Mate 20 Pro has the noise control a little bit better under control. In this picture over here we see once again the over sharpening happening. I really do like the portrait mode on the Mate 20 Pro because they used a wider angle lens to capture more from the background itself. And the bokeh effect is softer making it look more real than the zoomed in Mi 8 picture with a relatively harsh bokeh effect. One of the features of the Mate 20 Pro is the 2.5cm focus distance and I think it's therefore easy to see which one is the winner over here. Selfies are very comparable with just a slight difference in contrast and exposure because the Mi 8 tends to make everything as light as possible. If there's one thing what I really like, it's gonna be airplanes and tech of course, but this is just some selfie footage and let me know what you think in the comment section down below. There is of course like a huge difference between the two, like a little bit of sharpening happening on the Mate 20 Pro, while Xiaomi is a little bit more exposed because yeah, they are like everything a little bit more white, but in general I think the quality looks pretty reasonable and comparable to each other but once again let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If we start with the video samples the Huawei is doing much better with the stabilization than the Xiaomi Mi 8 but to be honest you can also clearly see that the Mate is working really hard by the little and small vibrations in the screen. The Mate 20 Pro its saturation is a little bit too much because the yellow is orange and the people's faces are a little bit too orange too. Focus on both devices look really nicely locked, but the moment we go to a more close-up look with a huge depth of field, the Mate has some trouble to find the focus, lock and switch easily. Now, with the low light pictures, it will be really interesting and easy to see some of the differences between those two devices. And if we take a look at the first picture, it looks very similar, but it definitely shows you like a huge difference if you take a closer look, especially at the red area around the top of the building. The overall image of both looks great, but the Huawei Mate 20 Pro here is definitely a winner, at least that's what I think. In this picture over here with the bus, the Mate 20 looks to over sharpen a lot, and the red color from the bus is definitely washed, and I think that Xiaomi did a better job over here. At first sight, this picture looks incredibly similar, but there are two major differences. The first one is the color temperature, which you can clearly see from the windows on the right, but if you zoom in closer, the Mate 20 Pro is able to record much more details, and this picture is zoomed in 500%, and that is for a low light image, really impressive. In this picture, the Mate 20 Pro really suffers from flares, and it is kind of ruining the shot. In many of the pictures, it looks like that Xiaomi is increasing the shadows in the darker areas, while in real life it's not that dark and Huawei on the other hand looks not always accurately showing the right color, especially the green as you can see over here. Once again you can see the issues with the flares over here. When it comes to portrait pictures I do appreciate the more soft bokeh effect on the Mate 20 and the Xiaomi Mi 8 is just always a little bit too zoomed in for my honest opinion and for my personal taste. Selfies in low light is very similar to the rear camera, the Mate 20 Pro just captures a little bit more detail as you can see, and the skin tone and color looks much better. 
So here we have the Mate 20 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 8 and this is a very tricky situation. So first of all we have like a really harsh sound from the airplane and I'm really curious which microphone is doing better and of course we have the image quality for the P for the Mate 20 and the Xiaomi Mi 8 and The Mate 20 Pro is often good in low light video, but it's also often suffering from the flares, making the shot look like washed. Now besides that, it doesn't always distinguish the front object and the correct focus right away. So it looks like that Xiaomi is increasing the ISO values a lot. But let me know what you think of this uh, incredibly tricky low light shot in the comment section down below. So last but not least is of course the selfie camera and as you can see the Mi 8 has a wider lens because you can see part of the lamp of course and you can see more of my shirt but in general it looks like that I like the Mi 8 more because there is slightly more contrast and my face on the yeah, Mate 20 looks a little bit like washed like there's a beauty filter on top and the, the Mi 8 looks a little bit more realistic but let me let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below in the end you have to be the judge yourself and decide for yourself whether or not you find it worth to invest a thousand euros in a smartphone like this or that a smartphone of four or five hundred dollars is good enough for you and whether or not the price difference is justified thank you so much for watching don't forget to give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and if you have some comments questions or remarks let me know in the comment section down below once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see all of you in the full review.